Hey everybody, Pretty and Flawed here. Please excuse the way I look today. I'm lounging, got my crafting clothes on, my little sports jacket and everything, and I just left Dollar Tree. This is not a Dollar Tree haul. I just wanted to come and talk to you guys before I put up this DIY project that I'm about to make. I realized that I am more of a visionary. <laughs> I see the project in my head, I know the products that I'm trying to use, but then when you get to the store and you don't find the right products, and then just everything is just like haywire. Well, this DIY project, I see it in my mind, and I went to Dollar Tree, and I ended up buying alternative items to make this. So, <clears throat> I'm almost ready to not put up the video, but you know, I just figure you guys is my ride or die. So if it come out okay, then hey, if it comes out all jacked up, then hey, I still wanna show you guys what I'm thinking about making. Um, so if it's not really, if it doesn't turn out that great, then maybe this was just a test run and we'll do another one later. Or maybe if you guys have some suggestions or whatever, then we can put this thing together. But I'm on my way home to put up this, well, to do this video to show you guys what I'm thinking I want to create. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, uh, and excuse me for talking in front of the video. I know most DIY projects, you just hop right into what the project is, but you know me, I do things different. So um, anyways, and before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for my project. <laughs> okay, so everything I'm gonna be using is laid out right here. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is optional. Um, this is just a project that I had in mind and I figured let me try to execute it So the first things you're going to be using are the butter dishes from Dollar Tree Everything is from Dollar Tree and I have four of those if you want to stack them higher than that Then you can and buy more. I'm using this burlap ribbon, which um, Everything is optional these, I'm not sure if I'm going to use those, but those are for the back of the case. I'll show you after a while. And this is the alternative to that. So I don't know which one of those I will be using. Next, you have the protectors that you can put underneath the case so that it doesn't slide like on a table or something, but that's optional. Then you have the fastener strip and that's going to help keep the case closed. And this lanyard um, that I got at Dollar Tree, I just decided to use that. You can use any ribbon or anything that you want um, as the handles. And then you're going to want to use these hair wraps. Uh, this one came with six in a pack. And um, you're not going to use all of those, but those are the ones that I chose. So the first thing that we're going to do is just remove all the wrappers off of the butter dishes and these are easy to find in Dollar Tree. They are in the kitchen section and you don't need those tops right there. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. And I went with these butter dishes because I wanted it to be like an acrylic look instead of just any kind of like other dish that was like maybe all white or all blue or whatever. I like the clear acrylic look. So that's why I went with those. Um, right here, I'm just showing you that you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to run it across the top of that, of each edge, and then you're going to push them together as such so that they will stay together. I know that I can get other items at different stores, but I really like the challenge of using strictly Dollar Tree items which is why I went with the butter dishes. Um, so here I'm just doing the same thing to the other two cases. And then I'm just gonna glue those together as well. And make sure you line them up so they're the same length. Then you're gonna take your head wraps and these are going to be to secure the washi tape inside of the container. And I'm just taking off the black and white polka dots because those are the ones I wanted to use, but you can use any color that you want. And of course I went overboard with cutting 
too many of the headbands when I really didn't have to. But this is trial and error for me. So, hey, let's just go with it. <laughs> so right here, I'm just cutting the straps because I thought I was going to use all of them. Good thing these are just a dollar for six. And then you are going to take one end and hold it and stretch it so that um, it will be a tight fit. And this is what you are going to do to hold the washi tape inside of the container. So I'm just measuring it with my hands to see where I wanna cut it so that I can eventually use my hot glue gun to put them on the case. And I do apologize in the, in the beginning, I didn't show my hot glue gun. I did purchase it at the 99 cent store and I am using that as well. I prefer to use that over the E6000 glue from Michaels, um, which was really hard to deal with. So now I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to fasten one side and I let that dry before I tried to tug on it to stretch it to the other side. So I just let that sit. And then I'm going to do the same thing to these containers. And then since those are dry, I'm just going to do it to the other side. And you're just going to stretch it to get it nice and tight. And then you're just going to glue those down as well. And you just do the same thing for all four. Now, like I said, this is just something that I visioned and I'm trying to execute it. I think it's a cool little project. Um, however, uh, you can tweak it however you like. You can use this to hold makeup. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just something that I laid up and thought about. So right here, I'm cutting the ends of the burlap because I was thinking I was going to use those to hold the, you know, to bind the uh, cases together. But then I was looking at the wrap that you use, you know, for your arm because it has some stretchiness to it. I was like, let me try to use that instead. Although I really did not like the way that that looked. And if I continue to try to make another one of these, I will definitely keep looking for something else to use as an alternative to this uh, band or to that, you know, what I'm gluing on right there. But the burlap would have looked nicer because of the, you know, the way it looks, but it didn't have any stretch to it. So that's why I just went ahead with this. These I'm just gluing down and that is what will help the, um, the doors bind together and be able to open and close. Now here, like I said, this is optional. I just wanted to do this for, um, to be able to fasten the door shut and keep them secure, nice and closed. You can just use a ribbon around it, glue a ribbon around it and um, tie the front like in a really cute bow. But I wanted something more secure. So right here, I'm just measuring it so that I can glue it down, which is what I am about to do. And honestly, I could have tried to really perfect this before I did this video. <laughs> um, before, you know, like, it's just not, it's, it's cute. I love the concept. It's not perfect, but you get the idea of what I was trying to do. And I just was thinking, oh, maybe I can make me a little uh, washi tape carrying case because sometimes when I'm planning in my planner and I'm walking through the house. I like to have my favorite washi tapes with me. So I'll keep my favorite ones in this little case and that way I can move it around with me through the house. So, okay, I finished gluing all of that on and I got it where I wanted it. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, take the fastener from Dollar Tree and attach it to both sides right there. And that is what is going to help keep the doors securely uh, closed. So right here, I'm just measuring it. 
then I'm gonna glue it and I accidentally kept that piece a little too long I should have cut that one just a little bit more but it's okay and then I just put that right there so it'll be an even match and I just glued that on and so now you have your fastener and you can open and shut and your doors will stay shut and right there I was just telling you that I left it a little too long I should have cut that down a little more but it's okay um, I like the way it look I just really don't like that piece right there maybe I was thinking about covering the back with something else but I don't know however right here I was thinking of using the burlap as the strap for the handles but it was a little too big so that is another reason why I went with the lanyard uh, to use as handles so right here I just cut it down to size made the handles the same size and then I'm just gonna glue those to the top and those will be your carrying uh, handles for your case and there you have it a cute little carrying case for your washi tape or whatever you want to put in there and because it's new it was a little struggle the first time to pull that open but that's a good thing so I'm just showing you and then you just pop it open and the bands hold your washi tape in which I will show you right about now so right here I'm just throwing some in there I don't have my favorite ones out I just went and grabbed a handful of washi and I'm just showing you that the band is what secures them in and it is flexible so you can you know it gives you room and if you look they don't fall out and I like the clear case so you can see through the back and I was just letting you know that a lot fits in there and and then you can close it and carry this with you wherever you want to go in the house outside of the house <laughs> like a little washi purse so here I just wanted to add some more real quick just to let you see what it would look like and that will be it I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video um, like I said it's not perfect but it was my vision and this is just something that I wanted to make and I will try to perfect it but for now that's my washi tape holder uh, and I'll throw my favorites in there and carry it with me and I was just showing you that they won't fall out so thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in another video bye